Hi, I'm Anthony Picton and uh, from Vitalab and I'm going to be speaking to you today about fibroids and if you've been diagnosed with fibroids how they may affect your fertility. So I think right from the beginning it's important to understand that there are two big groups of women with fibroids and the largest group are those that actually have no symptoms and their fibroids are actually diagnosed by accident almost as an incidental finding at a gynae exam. So really if you've got asymptomatic fibroids you're unaware of them other than the fact that they were on an ultrasound picture perhaps no management is required at this point in time. For those that have symptoms though uh, which may vary uh, they may need some form of management. So just looking at the symptoms very often fibroids present with heavy menstrual cycles painful menstrual cycles and now and again they may present with infertility or even uh, miscarriage as a, as a history. So, so in the group that have symptomatic fibroids, what are your options? And really, going forwards, there are some temporizing uh, treatments available. In other words, you can be put on the pill, uh, which would reduce the menstrual flow. Uh, you could even be put on a progesterone only form of contraception to try and reduce the menstrual flow or even what we call a GnRH analog, which basically switches off the ovaries and stops menstrual cycles completely. The problem with these is they don't really manage the, the core problem. They, they're more a temporizing measure just to improve the symptoms. And so you're left in many cases with partially treated symptoms and an ongoing problem. Certainly if you're looking to fall pregnant, using the pill or any form of contraception to manage your symptoms, obviously as at loggerheads with what you actually want to achieve, which is a healthy pregnancy. And this is essential where you need to see your gynecologist and get some genuine advice as to what's the best way forward. And I think the most important thing to know is that there's a number of options available. But in terms of fertility, removing the myomas is often the best management that one can look for. And that's called a myomectomy. And very often this can be achieved through minimal access surgery, in other words laparoscopic surgery. So you don't need a big operation. Yes, it is an operation, but it is small incisions, one through the belly button and a, and a couple of small one uh, centimeter incisions. So this is a day procedure typically and uh, the recovery is actually very quick. Our patients typically don't spend the night at our clinic. They would have their myomectomy in the morning and leave in the afternoon. The advantage to having the myomas removed if they are deemed to be a problem for fertility is that the outcomes are so much better than anything else out there. So your chance of pregnancy is increased by at least 30% and your chance of having a miscarriage once pregnant is then reduced by 50%. So that's really, I think the take home message is if you've been diagnosed with myomas, you need to assess are they actually causing any symptoms, yes or no. If they're not, we know that myomas are a benign, in other words a non-cancerous growth and they grow slowly. So maybe you don't need any immediate management. If on the other hand you see that you do have symptoms or if you're looking to fall pregnant and this is not happening in the time span that you're looking for, then uh, really this needs to be managed uh, at a level where the surgery is contemplated and you need to have a discussion with your gynecologist and if there's any uncertainty as to whether or not they're impacting your fertility and whether or not surgery will be beneficial, I would always advise go and see a fertility expert. Just have a consultation, uh, rather safe than sorry. And uh, in that case, we're looking forward to seeing you and, uh, and wishing you all the best. So if you've been diagnosed with fibroids, if you want to find out more, if uh, there's any worries about your fertility, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and watch any of those videos. And uh, if you'd like to, make an appointment with us and come see us one to one.